Hi, I'm Matt, one of Hydro-Vive's water nerds. We get quite a few questions about arsenic in drinking water, so we put together a quick video that answers some of the most frequently asked questions. Question number one, how does arsenic contaminate drinking water? Unlike lead, which leaches from plumbing, or chromium-6, which comes from industrial pollution, arsenic enters your drinking water from rocks that contain arsenic. This means that your water could be contaminated based only on the natural geology. It's not fair, but it's how it is. This map from USGS shows areas where arsenic levels are high. Question number two, are there different types of arsenic? Yes, there are two main types found in drinking water, arsenic-3 and arsenic-5. They are both toxic, but it's important to understand that there are two forms when we start talking about water filtration a bit later. Question number three, how is arsenic regulated? Arsenic regulations are pretty loose, considering there's no level known to be safe. EPA's current drinking water limit is 10 parts per billion. However, municipalities with lower levels are required to include the following disclosure language in their annual drinking water report. While your drinking water meets EPA's standard for arsenic, it does contain low levels of arsenic. EPA's standard balances the current understanding of arsenic's possible health effects against the cost of removing arsenic from drinking water. That's not exactly confidence inspiring. Question number four, how do I test my home's water for arsenic? To test your home's water for arsenic, you need to send a water sample to an accredited laboratory. TDS meters do not tell you anything about arsenic levels in your water, and test kits from big box retailers are not sensitive enough to give meaningful results. Question number five, how do I remove arsenic from my home's water? If you want to remove arsenic from your home's water, you need to use a water filter that is designed to remove the type of arsenic found in your water. Boiling your water does not remove arsenic, nor do common pitchers and fridge filters. While arsenic-5 is easily removed by a number of technologies, including simple ion exchange media and reverse osmosis, arsenic-3 is more difficult to remove and requires more advanced filtration. If you have any questions at all about removing arsenic from your home's water or want one of our Washington DC based water nerds to comb through arsenic measurements for your area, please drop us an email at hello at hydrovive.com or visit hydrovive.com and use our live chat. Our water nerds will help you make sense of the complexities surrounding your home's water. Thanks so much for watching, and if you like this video, consider hitting the subscribe button to learn more about your water quality and to get breaking news about water quality crises as they unfold.